Ben, hello, hello. How are you doing? It has been a hot minute. Hopefully life's been treating you well. Yeah, I, uh, actually spent some time moving the last couple of weeks, and I'm finally getting to a point where I think I can get into a groove of streaming again. We'll see. Now, today there should have been the release of a new character, and we definitely want to get in on her. Hooray! Look at how cute she is. We got 600 Prima Gems now. Nice. Six months. Wow, congrats, dude. It's a long time. All right. Uh, no, she, well, she's on a PlayStation game, apparently. She was PlayStation exclusive. I saw some here. Get these free Prima Gems going. Is she? Cool. I don't know. I just knew she, we got a new really cute archer and I kind of want to just uh, capture. You understand. But uh, yeah, like I said, I've uh, been in the process of moving. Ah, oh, we're 300 shy. We'll have to go work on that. And uh, we did one test stream right before Twitch got its little butt hacked, and uh, yeah, so this is what we're doing now. Horizon Zero Dawn. Cool, learned something new. Alright, so we need to go here. I don't know why, but we're going there. She is over there. <laughs> They are over there. I guess we got a shiny new character. We need to see what they're capable of here. Uh, sorry, Amber. We're going to replace you for a little while. Ooh, she's a cryo. Need help? I'm here. She got bouncy hair. Stretch. Oh, thank you. Pretty sure she was in Fortnite as well. Better if you don't ah. take your medicine. Thank you, thank you. I don't want to. It tastes. You know, be a good girl. You'll only get better if you take your medicine. No, I don't want to. I hate it. It tastes gross. Quite sickly child, this is the medicine she needs to take according to the prescription Dr. Baizu gave me. But she refuses to take it, she complains that she doesn't like the taste. Unfortunately, herbal medicine is bitter, that's just how it is. The only type she ever agrees to take it is she gets a bowl of almond tofu afterwards. If you have the time, could you go and pick me up a portion of almond tofu? I should stay here. Tofu, not tofu. I may need to still talk her into it. Uh, see where that. Oh, do we already have it? So, Rune, have you been playing any fun new games lately? Uh, hey, we actually had some. Very nice. Don't know why we'd have that, because I don't like tofu. I'm on tofu, but I still have to take the medicine first. Yeah, good girl, you only get better if you take the medicine, and there's almond tof tofu waiting for you. But Mr. Baizu is so clever, why can't he make the medicine almond tofu flavored? Okay, so we got that one done. Hooray! Alright, um... Do I, do I have what it takes to uh, power her up at all? A very good question. Level up. Hey, I got a few. Okay. 
Okay, what does her ascension materials require? Uh, oh. Crystal marrow found on Yashuri Island. And spectral husk. Drop by specters and stardust exchange. Yugi. Uh, well, sadly, though, we're going to bring Amber back. We'll, we'll wait until we can get her beefed up. Da, 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 Amber. Leave it to me. I like to keep having one healer, one ranged, and the other two just beat the living crap out of them. Uh, I don't know if ultimately that's a good goal to have, but you know, we do what we can. Straight to the heart. Where does this one take us? Uh. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I was playing the last time and had a friend help me get that opened up, so we're good there. Hey, Lerms, how the heck are you, friend? <clears throat> and it is definitely good to be streaming again. Though I really wish my sinuses would uh, let up on me. Ooh, I didn't realize we weren't healed. Let the show begin. <clears throat> okay, so how are you doing today, Lerms? Do a little healing on Rosaria right quick. Let's dance. Ignore those for the moment. Yeah, we got time to make it here. We can ignore it all. Nice. Primo gems captured. Bit busier than usual for work. Well, that kind of sucks, but, you know, gotta make that money while you got it available to you, my friend. I'm sure you understand that all too well. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, we'll just go to this one here. We're gonna knock out our dailies right quick, and then we're gonna head on to. I Don't guess, we have a job to do? Completing our working on story stuff. Yeah. Let's just go this way. Frozen, you are freeze. Er, your ice, your ice type. You should be immune to such nonsense. There we go. Guy does not stand a chance now. Myself stuck. 
Fantastic. <clears throat> Only I would be able to pull that nonsense off. Ooh, sweet flowers. I totally planned on that happening. I'll protect us. in this general area we need to go after. Be kind of cool if we get these guys to interact and go after bad guys. <clears throat> oh, you haven't heard? Somewhere beneath these ruins lies an ancient abandoned city. Rumors of such a place have circulated for many generations at the Adventures Guild. Okay. Bet you can't keep up with me! You can't run! Starfall! Where's that big honking son of a gun before we... Before he regains his crown? No! Take him out, take him out. I'll race you there. Oh, she, you can't she, run. the thing got me. It's a good thing Cycling's not here because he'd be throwing a fit with me right now. Oi! Enough of the freezing. Don't need none of that nonsense. Anyway, we got one more of the dailies to knack. Gate 2, which is over... way over there. Um... I'm missing it. Oh, it's over this direction. Thirty-nine meters that way. Let's go. Oh, let's get some healing going. Smacking the thingy. You can't run. Yeah. Not the old nonsense. Hey, did you get there we go. down real quick. It's nice having her up to level 50. I really need to ascend her again, though. Mission complete. Very nice. Hey, cycling! How the heck are you, friend? It is going pretty darn well here. Doing a little live streaming, watching my bitrate stay roughly steady. Ah, water. Hey, 
tasty, delicious water. Alright, so we can go to Mondstadt, I suppose, which is over here. And we'll see about getting ourselves the uh, internet's dying, so probably can't stay. Uh, that's kind of sad. Sorry to hear that, friend. Have you tried utilizing uh, duct tape? Seeing if that doesn't get your internet fixed. Add Astra Abyssos. Uh, daily commissions. Completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Another twenty prima gems. Very nice. When you're high up, everyone can hear your Add Astra Abyssos. Is it just me, or does her little booth seem a little different? Nice, we need that meat. We need the sweet flowers, very good. Get the 5,000 more, even better. Ah. Alright, well, we will do this again. And send. Yeah, probably do this one. Send Fischl. She'll be good. All right. So, next phase. Um, which honestly, I'm not really sure what we're doing. Duct tape is a legendary artifact only few have access to. Strange. I have it in three different colors. <laughs> Maybe they're just cheap knockoffs. Okay. Uh, Work hard and live each day to the fullest. What is up on our thing we get to do? See, I've never really what spent a lot of time all about, isn't it? learning where all the cool things are at, so... Quests. Well, it's kind of hoping that would take me to something different, something cool. You seem to be investigating earthquakes and strange monster movements, and... Oh, I don't know if I want to do this one, because I think I got my butt kicked the last time. Uh... I guess we're gonna go continue on with these. What's on here? Oh. Story quests! Endings reached? Oh! I can do these? Complete Omnipresence over Mortals. Well, why are you... Maximum number of keys has been reached. I kind of want to punch this thing in the face. Besides, I'd rather run with Barbara. She's adorable and awesome and amazing. And it's not letting me do that. It makes me sad. Alright. Anyway. Let us... Do a little navigation. Gotta go all the way to there. Fine. I'm trying to adjust my... The way I play because... Now I'm utilizing the actual drawer of my desk for what it was meant everything to be. Everything is negotiable, except used for, everything. And, uh, yeah. I'm struggling. I'm on the struggle bug bus. Hi, pupper pup. I still need to be able to pet the dogs. It upsets me because I cannot pet them. Or the cats. The cats need to be petted, too. Just saying. Wait a minute. Do I need to go up the road? Maybe this will actually take me where I need to go. So have you been up to anything fun cycling, as it has been a short while since we last talked? And it seems poor Catania's even kind of, uh, down and out and unable to really stream much. Dang, this place is pretty. Does the 
very heart of the political stone that has been slowly brewing in Leeway Harbor. It is time to peer beyond the glittering gold and see what lurks in the shadows. Oh. Well. Um. Here we go, I guess. This is pretty much my A team here, so I, I hope we are capable of wow. handling what needs to be happening. This is the Handled. Golden House? It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? And Holy so crap! Of Mora. I just noticed all of that laying around. Dang. This is where all of Tabat's Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few Mora go missing. Oh, so it's a trap! Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. I am kind of sad with all the little details, the beauty they put in the game. This looks so much like something you'd see in a 1990s video game. But even if Come on, guys, fix the texture. Any, we can still have a closer look, right? Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. Oh, right. Back to business. Yes, emergency food. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. Surely someone's got to be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? Uh-oh. Paimon smells trouble. Quick, we have to go make sure that the Exuvia is all right. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm just gonna run them over. Anything worth sneaking around in here for? Seriously, it looks like it's just a bunch of melted gold. Sorta, of, kinda, in the shape of coins, but not really. Kind of hoping there'd be a sneaky treasure chest or something in here. Yeah, I'll be in there in a second. I want to check this other place out real quick. You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Hmm. Huh? Who's there? Ah, <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location, don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? I don't know. Been doing pretty good on wasted effort so far. Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. A battle. The battle. Yep, called it. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. Now, I'm curious how strong this guy is. Am I gonna get my ass wrecked? When Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? 
good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along to feel the thrill of battle. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. Here we go. This chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. Judgment! Passable left. Aha! Cowering already? Ow! A fine opportunity. You've made some progress. Drop. Poor Simon. Back here. I ain't done with you. Yes, before timing. Not bad. Not bad. Let the show begin. Come here. Come here. Poor timing. Crap, he puts a shield up. That's no fair. And how far are we? Can we take him out? You've made some progress. Not bad. You've got a trip. <laughs> Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Delusion well, unleashed. That just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. All you do is run. Not really. Got you. Eat this. Don't worry about me. Oh, no. yeah. It wouldn't let me change. No. Nice. <laughs> right. <Starfall>. Got him. <laughs> oh, you've got Ow. some skills. Uh, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Uh, yes, this is what I want. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, crap! I need food. Okay, she's at max. Drop. Mm, that hurt. I'll crush you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey! You can't run! That did no damage to him. Run. Judgment! Right. Got you. Punishment! 
Damn, that hurt. Almost got him, though. Yeah, he just kicked his ass. Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. What? <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You the force lost. Yes, it sucks. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> well then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? <laughs> what the heck? Hmm? Oh god, he has a final form! Don't tell me I have to fight that thing when I barely beat him before. The eleventh of the L. Oh. Not bad. But this is going to cost you. Yeah. Oh hey. There, there's a secondary floor. <laughs> she had a freaking boulder on her head. So, has anybody else seen this part? Because I have not, and I'm feeling like I'm about to get my ass kicked. You got to the gnosis ahead of me, didn't you? Did you simply move faster, or did you leak the information regarding the golden house to me on purpose? No matter. Hand the gnosis over now. Don't make me take it from you. We didn't take it. I'll protect us. Come on. Judgment. Damn it. Let's dance. Gotta keep Amber healed the best we can. You can't run. Hey, we got him down to half. Where's he at? Where's he at? No, that's not good. This could be a problem. What oh, a crap! Nope, that's not good at all. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, we can use this. Get, get her back. And these. this. Oh, hey, we can use that. How many... This is my final form. Is it gonna happen? Yeah, trust me. Alright, well, we... We got him down to half, so... We should be good. You can't run! Hey! 
Hey, quit running, coward. Judgment. Die here. Uh oh. Nice. Hey, where'd he go? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. The giant whale thing. You can't run. Uh oh, out. Oh, hey, he missed us. Do constant damage while he's here in this field. Nope, out. No, get back here. Uh-oh, problem, problem. Where'd you go? Ah! I think we got him. Some you win, and some you lose. Heckin' yeah, kicking ass. Look at us go. Look! Child's back to normal again! Stupid child. Well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you! We didn't take it! Well, the uh, audio and the, the, the visual there did not work out well. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle I like the story this game has. Satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. <laughs> Paimon has a good point for a change. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. It does. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. Pretty sure we don't care what you think and we'll just stick you to a freaking post. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. Okay, well that is a Seems twist. The guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept away in the process. Uh oh. The truth Talking is, more? the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. Come here, I got a vegetable for your face. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the G.R. Archon in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the G.R. Archon's stone spears ever since. That sounds like a bad thing. If such an ancient god were to be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Does this guy have more than one power? Hey, those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so mm. many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. 
Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little hey, more so do we get to uh, fight alongside Rex Lapis now? That would be kind of cool. That'd be worth this. Uh-oh. Bruv. Bruv, what's going on? Hey, it's a Pokemans! But seriously, that looks a lot like Kyogre. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nira, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> Well, yeah, he, guy is fast. he has the ability to freaking fly in water. Uh, what's going on? Is that the floating obsidian place? Hey, it's a Kraken! calamity of such magnitude we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy <laughs> yeah I like this guy <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. so how do you plan to defend Lila eh, just seeing this overlord of the vortex guy puts a pin in Paimon's tummy even from all the way out here it's not just you We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Well, duh. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyu Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> So will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. Hey, it's Granny with the teapot. What? But all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lilith. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? Okay. The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. This is getting intense. Um, okay, I already loved her before. But, holy cow, I love her. What in the world is she doing? Oh. 
she had them hidden magically? Looks like this is where we get to partay. Though, I hope we are healed. Probably not. The three Adepti are manning the Guajan Ballista. Do not let the Fatui nice. disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me! Let's go help you! We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Hmm. Let one see what you're made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. Well, you keep your shield up. Let me beat the crap out of this guy. Don't be a killjoy. We've only just begun. Ah, come on. Okay, this guy is gone. Anybody else? Who's next? Judgment. What the heck? I'm flying through him. You can't run. You can't run. <laughs> you can't run, well neither can I. That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. Yeah. Kinda of just doing my thing here. Where'd the bad guy go? Did I kill him? The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! Oh god. <sighs> How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. Do it. Got to take these guys out first. Were you about to say we can't hold them, children? Ah, oh, crap. Don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is adeptal energy. That light from your body. It's like the time in Julian Cars. Wow, it's Madame Ping's shockwave. This granny's really strong. Holy cow, we are pimp slapping these guys now. Okay, uh, heal. We need we, we need her back. We gotta have Rosaria. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Use this on you. We've got three minutes to hold hold the line. With the blood of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Cast your fear of injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. <sighs> so this is what Ganya's like in a fight. Wait, she's old. She's that old. My name means swiftness. Ganyu is two thousand years run as old. I do. Works for me. Can we have this power all the time? Let the show begin. Dude, look at her go. We're like the Flash. Strong in body and spirit, then perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. 
This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. Yeah, we're, we're kicking some major amounts of ours. Come on, we're some more bad guys. We got this. More like suck it. Okay, I'm really liking this so far. This is working out well for me. Punishment. Yeah, you can't run. Exercise caution. I fear that the god's power has reached its peak. In other words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? Okay, we gotta keep him, keep him busy. Oh, take this guy up quick. Not breaking a sweat. Hey, go the other way. Look at me. This is working out well. I like this. The question is, is, can we hold out for the next 50 seconds? There we go. You can't run. Don't be a killjoy. We don't need to kill. Nice. The Fatui's numbers are thinning. Yep, they are. Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the god in peace. Uh-oh. I think we're running out of power. So now it's taking a while to actually... Oh, no. There we go. Got him. Nice! The interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's going on? Holy crap! It's like a Big Bang Kamehameha from one of the Dragon Ball Z movies. <laughs> and it seems to not be it's hurting working. at all. We just need to keep this up. Hmm. Uh oh. Attacking Rex? Or is it. Oh, it's doing some sort of like a meteor shower thing. wind glider we'd have been all right be careful now the guizhong ballista is destroyed huh? without its covering fire retaliation shall be difficult but the jade chamber is our last line of defense we can't give another inch no matter what i have another idea uh, what do you mean lady ningguang i'll sacrifice the jade chamber what is the meaning of this Stand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Okay. What the heck? Now this better actually do something. Okay. A mini nuke, that'll work. <laughs> we just nuked the living hell out of that place. So I wonder, does child uh, bear its ugly face again? Is it finally over? 
The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the Sigil of Permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. And yet Rex Lapis did not even show his face. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. What is she compared to these guys? I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. In ruins? It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. Ning Wang is really pretty. We know pretty. very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, oh, are Oh, good night, Cycling. Hope contract. you get plenty of sleep. Hopefully your internet treats Each you better later. generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value you for to be by. by the next generation. Hope you're enjoying the story that we're getting through. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had choice. strove Thank under you very his much. rule to survive I'll, uh, in our world. Get that up here in just a second. As, but I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? Right. That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity. Hey! As Adepti, we've become a laughingstock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? Wait, is she an Adepti? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, 
I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <sighs> Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. Huh. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and... and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty! Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor! Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite! Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh... okay... It must be hard being an Adeptus. You see, <laughs> this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. This kind of sounds and feels a little like Lord of the Rings. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Let us return now. Eager to leave, uh, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. <sighs> Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death, too? Hmm. <clears throat> Hooray! Hyman doesn't get it. <clears throat> but isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? Yeah, we were doing You're that at one point, Yomi's really. Gone. Let's ask for him at Wangsham Funeral Parlor. Oh, hey, are we completely healed? It looks that way. Very nice. Um, oh, right. I promised a, a drink. One second. To go get a glass.
have a new flavor as well. So, oh, it may be a little bit more trouble than it's worth trying to open. Let me try. Oh. Nope, it's fine. This one's one of the easier ones. So this one is Salty Caramel. It was given to me by a co-worker who does not drink any form of alcohol. Cheers. Yeah, it's not bad. I like caramel well enough. All right, so we got achievements. Let you off this time. We'll get the free primogens here. Was there any others? No. Uh, wishes. We are close. We need to get to 1600, I think. And then we have a chance of getting child. I really want her. I don't remember who she is. But, uh, we'll work on that here soon. Everybody's going berserk about trying to get child on their team, and I'm like, uh, no, that's okay. I don't need that nonsense. He's an enemy. Alright, so... What's up with the little blue exclamation point? Let's go figure that out. Oh, hello. I hope I can get the bottom of it. Bottom of what? The clue! Perhaps rumor is a better word. A rumor about treasure. There's an adventurer who said he's found a clue to a treasure in the vicinity of Tinkui Valley, but he tried everything and simply could not locate the treasure. In the end, he gave up looking and reported to the guild instead, and now the guild is offering a reward for anyone to solve this mysterious so-called clue. Any adventurer who wants to give it a go can follow the clue and see where it takes him. If they solve the riddle and find the treasure, the guild will offer a reward. But so far, nobody has found even a trace of the treasure. Oh, well, if you think you're up to it... If you really are interested, there's no harm in giving it a go. I'll mark the location mentioned in the clue on the map for you, then you can ta go take a look. Okay, that's cool. But, um... We need to go finish this stuff first. Oh, over here. Yes. Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liu? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. Uh-oh. Now what do we gotta do? Okay, uh... Oh, it's not that far. On the rail, girl. What should I put Come on, Lumine. No, 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 don't fall down. <laughs> oh, good evening. This is the Northland Bank. I'm just going back and forth with my mind a bit about what I should write in this letter. Usually I write to my family back home, but recently I've gained a pen pal. Ooh. He's also a guard here at the Northland Bank, but he's on duty during the day while I'm on duty at night. To tell you the truth, I don't even know his name. One time, I accidentally left a letter I had written to my brother at our post. And then perhaps the other guard mistook it to, as a letter that I left for him. He even wrote me a reply. I could re read between the lines and tell he was probably very lonely, so I thought it would be good to go along with it and help him in this way, but eventually writing to him also became a part of my life. I've even started looking forward to receiving his letters. 
she's actually really adorable. You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. Oh, he's a Harbinger as well? <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Makes that makes me a little sad now. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And you, you're also one of the Harbingers? <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. Well, if it isn't you two. This is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward, wouldn't you say? Not really. I'd like to run a sword right through that throat, just right there. Just boom. <laughs> Violence Paimon is knew the that answer. we should never have trusted a Fatui harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The all real right. deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. So actually, I think... Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. Uh-oh. So he stole it. <sighs> How sanctimonious. What? So you're the Lord of Chiyo? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract, for it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. Um, yeah, I'm... What? Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you, and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky, and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liu together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come. So we're dealing with creatures that can live for thousands of years. Until one drizzly day, huh. as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers you finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, Already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death. 
and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liu Achising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liu. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. Okay. So you mean that if the chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lila back under control? Of course. And it would have been all too easy for him, too. She's pretty hot, too. Not gonna lie. Even if she is evil. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Qixing, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Credit is also mm -hmm. due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. So what happens when he loses All his All of gnosis? these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liu Qixing. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. Well, that kind of crap has to happen, you know? Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for <laughs> deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark. Good. <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. Sorry, taking a note. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, Adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liu, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? Hey, haven't you learned the Liu is saying, don't always call it as you see it? <laughs> Well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapolyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. Hmm. <laughs> Do as you wish. Damn, she got hip sway. Now then. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Right! As Zhongli always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. Have another shot. That was good stuff. Let the ice do its work for a minute. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. 
My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. Oh, that means there's more chapters. <sighs> <clears throat> Well, fine. Oh, death. Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons being pressed. Today's the day of the <clears throat> right parting. Although the star of the show is fake, we spent so much time trying to organize it, it would be a real shame not to go there now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go up there. Okay, that's good. Um, so this up here? Oh. Okay, including the energy you charted a course towards your chosen weapon, you obtain one fate point upon receiving a five star weapon that is not the one you chose. Okay. Sorry, I was just trying to see what these things are doing. Test run. Man. Once, there was a glorious kingdom established among them. Okay. Back to it. Remember that time when we was a fugitive and we ran down these things and got saved by somebody? Alright. So, first things first, we'll go talk to this person here, apparently. Oh, well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. Uh, so Rex Lapis is really... Oh, but they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. Nice. The Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. <laughs> so say we all. You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, yes it's very, very possible indeed. indeed. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh, that wicked, black-hearted scoundrel. <laughs> Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my years. Ah, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs has to say first. All right. Let's go see what this person says to us. Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season so too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Oh. Uh, um, Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. Uh, so that's how they're spinning it. 
Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Could the Cheesing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his Gnosis changed hands? Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the Rite of Barding has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. It'll be nice to wrap this chapter up. Do we get invited as heroes? Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. I really wish I had those two. I may have actually gotten her. I don't remember now. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way! <laughs> is that the Traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young! The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. How about you two, C6? Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Maximum constellations on both of those ladies. Maximum levels would be great. Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? <laughs> well, she does have kind of a straightforward and... Uh, That was actually extremely unexpected. Oh, I'm in the area, so I gotta talk to everybody? Ah, uh, Rex. Hmm. Now that I think about it, if everyone's of the same mind as me, perhaps mementos for Rex Lapis might be the best short-term business opportunity. There you go, buddy. Um... Huh. You. And to think I'd put my best perfume on before coming here, thinking you'd like it. Oh, hey, she's the, uh, the naughty one. But it seems as if those perfumes really were meant to be offered to Rex Lapis. Well, that's fine. Suffer no rivals in love, they say. And that's three gone in one stroke. Two, um, oh. As for the mortals and adepti of Liyue, what shape shall our relationship take from now on? Okay. Look for Zhong Li at the scene. <laughs> Still laughing, kind of mind blown at hey, can you help me put up some missing persons posters? <laughs> thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again. And here you are looking all relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Xinyua kiosk. Ha! <laughs> that sounds like big talk, Zhang Li. Paimon might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinyue Kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. 
You're right. I do like the Mora. As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now! You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society who lives off of other people's credit. <laughs> well, we were only spending for Tui money. You don't have to say it like that. Poor guy. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight, as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea, in Azuma, is presently closed. Yes, the nation has been closed by order of its deity, the Electro Archon Ball. And just Ooh. as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, right, Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. Hmm. Cool. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Wait a minute. Why would she know? We don't know. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tevat see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. Well, that sounds not good. They want to seize visions. But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. Indeed. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away, will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of, when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. 
All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Yeah, about that. Before the Chising made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of, of them put the too. blame for everything on child. I, I just learned things. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that Child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Qixing from defeating the Ancient God. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Good, they need their butts kicked. Also, she's still so pretty so far away. Ha, <sighs> those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. All right then. I Was there remember. anything else you wished to know? What's so special about the Harbinger? That's right. Zhang Li, now that you don't have your Gnosis, what's going to happen to all the Moran to that? Since Morax is dead, are they all just going to disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time, since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. <laughs> this is terrible! We're all about to run out of Mora! The world is coming to an end! Yes. This is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. It means people need to do more trading or bartering. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Leo Achising to debate. Then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? Oh, a private fund. Hmm. <laughs> this does seem like a good logical common sense idea. Yeah. But did not do. It's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> All right, then. Was there anything else you wish? <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. That said, the reason why the Chi-Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Um, yeah, let's try The this. time of the Adepti has long passed. I like learning if even the Leo Achising don't want to really face that truth, to play a game. then what future is there for Leo? Kuching is absolutely right in saying I mean, this. There's so many games out there with multiplayer and all this fun stuff and all the hype for them and whatever, you know. It, it, it is what it is. But story. Like this, this is where the game's at. This is where the fun is at. Learning the story. It actually makes me miss reading books. Now... Though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Qixing's plan to take governing power over Liyue from the hands of the gods and Adepti, could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... You? All right, then. Was there any... Well, then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. I wish they'd work on the whole mouth movement with wall talking things. Get that going and be properly fixed. Alright, okay, so we got 30 more. Um, we've apparently done something. Let me check for achievements. Okay, achievements. Uh, we got another 10. So we're up to another 40. And black out of that. Uh, 1485, so we're close. I really, like I said, I want to do one to make sure we get her. She is the one I want. I don't care about child. I really don't. I don't really care about him. Her. She is the one that we want. So we'll probably do that on the next time. 
Okay, so... What's next? No active quests. I have something to tell you. Okay, well, tell me, Miss Catherine. Oh, in Mondstadt. Uh, nope, wrong button. Sorry, I am feeling a little bit of alcohol uh, effects here, so... <clears throat> I should drink a little water. And before you laugh about me drinking whiskey about it, I actually had a full bottle of, or actually two bottles of Mike's Hard Lemonade while eating the supper, so. On top of the... Wait a minute. This looks different again. So that must have been a glitch before. What do you got to say, Catherine? Traveler, please, over here. Yes, ma'am. It has been a while since you joined the Adventurer's Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Hmm, is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Your emergency food and nothing more. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. <laughs> Wait, do you mean... Does that stranger's face look anything like hers? Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even has an eye patch. Seriously? <laughs> How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I can't just can't prove that you're related anyway. <laughs> that stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's requests. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big help on your journey. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, after all. I like her level of confidence in us. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Huh. Well, now I'm starting to feel all blushy and, and, and special. Well, what as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. Who's Mr. Lawrence? He stands guard at the city ah. gate, so he may know something about that. I wish you every success, adventurer. Yes, ma'am. Let's go see what we got. Mr. Lawrence, give me news. Ah, uh, honorary knight. Is something the matter? A uh, stranger with an eye patch. Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, I remember seeing someone like that. A blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. He was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh, I lost him pretty quickly. Still, I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual looking person. The voice actor for Lawrence is, uh. Not gonna lie. That might lacking. be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? <sighs> Anyways, oh yeah, he was at Wagner Smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. <sighs> you should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. Yeah, I just don't like the way he is talking at all. Wind go with you.
I don't particularly care, I just want the meat. <laughs> give me the foul, give me the foul, give me the foul. I'll race you there. <laughs> so, um What does she Oh, she needs to level up some more. <laughs> Ah, to level 50. Okay. Crap, we need a whole lot more. We need to get her leveled up. We need to get everybody leveled up. She's at max, but we need to ascend her. And for that, we need to... Uh, give me a second. Um, I'm going to capture this real quick. Okay, uh, we'll set that down there. Anyway, I need to keep an eye on what we need to do to send her. I'll ask for assistance on that, probably, because Rosaria, she is the best, and I really want to get her maxed out, because she is awesome. But we're going to have to spend a lot more time exploring Mon uh, the whole world, actually, and see if we can't uh, make some progress on getting more stuff. Uh, so, ask Wagner. We'll see if we can make a little bit of progress on this particular quest Bet you before can't keep we, up with uh, me. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, Wagner. Why? You need something? He's always so, uh, pleasant to commune with. Yeah, I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Is this? Why am I lit up over here? Oh, I don't care about that. Computer, what are you doing? Can't Hello. say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's share. Really? Indeed. My poor computer's struggling mightily. I'm wondering if my, I'm having some issues because of uh, some of the old hard drives that I have running. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of them, that's the only place to be. <laughs> the Angel Share? Well, Master Diluc probably has his eye on that stranger too then. Anyway, let's go to the Angel Share and have a look. All right. So we are closing in on the whole two-hour thing. Sadly, I'm hitting a point where I need to be getting to bed because I have to open the store up for the next few mornings, and I'm really just not looking forward to it. I'm gonna need some sleep. So, um, yeah. Uh, we are gonna do ourselves a quick raid. I know who exactly we're going to raid to because I really, really like her. She's a wonderful, wonderful girl. Oh, no, that's wrong. Wow, my brain is just no back. Sorry, person, but we are actually leaving the game. All right, starting a raid. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me, and uh, if you are watching this after the fact, thank you for watching this far. You are greatly appreciated. Uh, we'll be trying to get more into the whole stream thing more often, so starting next week, I'm going to try and get an actual schedule out. Anyway, guys, have yourselves a wonderful night, and until next time, stay safe out there. See you later.